How do you make an invisible seam when you're sewing up spraying? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, in order to make this seam, it's not just the sewing up. You have to have created the cloth anticipating this. What do I mean by that? Well, you want to sew up using just the edge thread. So, you need to keep that edge thread at the edge for the whole length of the edge where you're making this seam. I put a contrasting color thread on the edge of this piece and I kept that thread at the edge the full length of it. You might not want to be using a contrasting color. You might want to have the same color thread all the way across. And in this case, I will put a bead on that edge thread and every row check to see that the bead is at the edge. And then when I'm ready to sew up, I'm all, I'm ready to do that. I'm properly set up for it. Okay. So I'm going to sew up using this contrasting color thread. I've cinched all the threads together in the middle. This is, uh, I've, I've finished off my work. And now I'm ready to sew up. So I put the purple thread, the thread in the knot, on a large eyed blunt needle. And I'm now going to identify that edge thread on either side of the knot. You can see that thread right here. It pulls through either way on either side of that knot. Now you perhaps have a bead on that thread, so you identify the bead thread on either side of the knot, and then with this needle I'm going to go under and under, both occurrences of that thread, and pull through. Now I need to know where that thread goes next. That bead thread next goes to right here, and to right here. That's where the edge thread is. You would be wanting to push your bead towards the exit as you go. It goes under, under, and I pull through. Now I take my sewing thread. I identify the next occurrence of the edge thread there, and on this side, right there. And I pull through. And if you have a bead, then you nudge your bead under and working its way towards the exit. I'm going to fold this whole piece in half, just like that. And I bring the sides together and I sew here, under, under, and I pull through. I go around, under, whoop, not two, just one, under, and under, and I pull through. And you can see how it's making this lovely invisible seam. I go under on this side, under and pull through. And the last stitch is right here. Under, under, and pull through. And then this sewing thread you might tie to the edge thread. You undo the knot to let the bead out and you tie this sewing thread to the bead thread and you're done. You've got this lovely invisible seam.